Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Håkan Bruvel and in today's video I'm gonna go through some of my favorite photos from the last month. So that would be for March. So this is my ongoing series where I go through some of the images and try to critique myself and the photos uh, so I can try to learn something uh, and that way it will help me to uh, yeah progress and develop as a photographer. So let's uh, take a look at the first uh, image. Uh, the first image is uh, this one and it's uh, of my one of my cats, a saga. Um, and I really like this image. If you have an animal yourself, you know it can be a real challenge to, to uh, get an image of them because often they move and it's not uh, real easy to predict uh, in what way they will move. But here she was uh, sitting in our bed and I managed to to uh, grab my Rico GR3 and uh, take a quick uh, photo of her and I really like this image because I like uh, her eyes and I like the expression that she's giving and I also like uh, that uh, I have this um, uh, blanket uh, and that the blanket in the bottom corner have lines on it which points straight at her so uh, Dad moves your eyes uh, through the frame and move, moves uh, your eyes uh, to her eyes, which is the most important in uh, this image. So, yeah, I really like uh, this uh, image. Uh, the next image is uh, this one, and it's uh, from a walk from uh, not far from where I live. And I really like this image because it kind of asks some questions to you. Uh, because you have these two people in the bottom right corner and then you have ropes going up. So you start to question, uh, well, okay, wh what are they doing or, and what are they supposed to be doing? And... Uh, then you might figure out, yeah, they might be climbers, but then you start to wonder, okay, where are they climbing to? Because you can't see where the ropes are ending. Um, so yeah, I, I uh, really like this image. And I also like it because it uh, kind of shows what the Rico GR3 is capable of because I'm standing on the other side of a river and I, ha and, uh, I have cropped this image quite heavily but it's still really sharp and yeah it, I just really like this uh, image. Uh, the next image is also of my cat Saga and yeah, I once again I really like this image because her eyes uh, is in focus and yeah, <laughs> and, uh, once again I really like her expression. Uh, one thing that might it can it doesn't really bother me, but sometimes if you have a bright spot that's not near uh, what near your subject your eyes might be drawn to that white spot uh, and I have a white spot in the left corner here but I don't think I mind that because uh, I, it, this image kind of have a pattern where you go from uh, a dark a dark place in the bottom right corner then you have uh, a white patch over her head and then you go into a dark patch again and then you have that white so you have kind of a pattern in this image and 
so I don't really feel that uh, the bright spot in the top left corner uh, ruins the image. So overall I really like this uh, image. Uh, the next image is also of an animal and it's a bird or duck. I think it's more of a duck. And I... Um, yeah, I like this image also because this uh, bird or duck uh, is actually black uh, except its beacon and the white patch on its head. But the sun was really strong so the left side uh, got really bright on this bird and the other side stayed in the shadows. So yeah, uh, I have this contrast uh, between the bright side and the dark side on the bird and I also have uh, a dark and a bright side on the ocean. So, so um, the bottom is uh, a bit darker and the top uh, frame is a bit, a bit brighter. So I got contrast uh, both in the water and on the birds so it creates kind of this yin and yang symbol uh, and I quite uh, like that uh, I managed to get contrast on uh, different levels so yeah I really like this image the last image is also an image uh, of my cat uh, it's been a lot of images of her because I, uh, I'm staying inside a lot uh, because of the uh, pandemic. And, uh, and once again, I like this image. Um, uh, her eyes is uh, really sharp, uh, especially the right eye. And yeah, I just once again like the expression uh, and the light hitting her face and the rest of her body is kind of in shadow. So uh, yeah, I think it's a, a great uh, image. So that uh, was the images for uh, March. Uh, hope to have learned something from uh, how I think about my images. Um, so if you like this uh, video, please give it a thumbs uh, up and please consider subscribing to my channel because that would mean a lot to me. And if you have some thoughts you want to share regarding my images or uh, uh, the topic in general, uh, how you should think about your images, please give a comment uh, in the comment section and I will uh, respond uh, to your messages. Uh, otherwise, I hope to see you in the next video. Okay, bye.